Good evening, San Diego. I am Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis, and thank you for tuning in for your CBS 8 Plus weather update. Today, well, it was a dry start to the week, and that's because we had that storm system over the weekend. That moved through. That was an atmospheric river. We hit the pause button today. We had the marine layer that was hanging around a little while, and then it started to bring in the sunshine once it did lift by the afternoon hours. Then we saw some high clouds that were streaming in, and that's all from this area of low pressure that we are seeing across the Pacific Northwest. Scattered showers, heavier rainfall in parts, and also trickling down towards Northern California. So that storm system is going to stay well towards the north of us, but it's another one that is set to move in and that one looks to be more favorable for wet weather for us here in San Diego County. So this next storm system will bring in some moderate to heavy rainfall returns to the forecast. We could start to see showers as early as tomorrow and even some pockets of rainfall, but it's not until we get to about late Tuesday night all the way through Wednesday morning where it's more pronounced, more significant for us. That's when we're expecting the bulk of the moisture. So when we set the clock in motion, you're going to see quite a difference, basically telling that story as that system gets closer. We're looking at cloud cover right now. We don't have too much going on in the shower department, but that starts to change as we go into Tuesday in the afternoon hours. Lighter activity towards the south. You're seeing that across the South Bay, seeing that for CNT, heavier rainfall across North County. So it's going to move in from the north towards the south, very similar to what we had the last atmospheric river. Now, and this is about 240 in the afternoon, that wet weather set to arrive, also seeing it across the mountains. It becomes more widespread as we hit about 545 by tomorrow evening. You're even starting to see a pocket more moderate rainfall moving on shore near Oceanside. And then everything starts to die down just a little bit. Still probably misty out there because the cloud cover looks to be thick. You're also looking at some shower activity, seeing that for Palomar Mountain, seeing that for Ramona, also along the 15, and then seeing that for the South Bay. And then we start to have, excuse me, start to have the next surge of moisture that's moving in. So still looking at some spotty shower activity around 11, and that's going to be for Tuesday night. But then that heavier rainfall, more pronounced in the overnight hours. So once we get past about midnight by tomorrow night, all the way into Wednesday morning, that's where we're expecting the bulk of the moisture. You're looking at that heavy rainfall coming in from the north towards the south overnight, and then more rounds of that. So about 8:30 in the morning, it will be a dangerous drive out there for your morning commute because you're talking about heavy rain coming down. At the same time, we'll also have some gusty winds. Now those gusts look to be in the 20s and 30s west of the mountains, more pronounced with those gusts up to about 50 to 60, even potentially 70 miles per hour across the mountains and the desert. But you're talking strong gusty winds and then heavy rainfall. There's nothing that's been issued by the National Weather Service in the wind or rain department, but that could change in the forecast by tomorrow. So flood alerts popping up. Also keep your phone nice and handy with you, especially if you have our app because you can download our app and we will keep you posted with every single alert that comes out as a result of this storm system. So we are looking at heavy rain in the forecast about 830 in the morning. We still see those pockets and even more intense or by about 1050 on Wednesday morning and a lot more coverage. Now you're seeing just widespread heavy rainfall in the forecast that's stretching all the way from the mountains back towards the coast. So that's when we're expecting the bulk of the moisture. By the afternoon hours, we're still looking at some rainfall. It looks to be a little bit more pronounced across the mountains, seeing it impact right along the eight Pine Valley, stretching towards Ramona, seeing it across the mountains, slick drive out there. We start to dry out a little bit more closer towards the coast, and that's around 2.20 in the afternoon hours. We're not entirely in the clear as we hit Wednesday night around 7.20, some spotty activity moving through, cloud cover still pretty pronounced, and then as we go into the rest of the night and overnight into Thursday, and that's when things will really start to dry out, and then we take a break from some wet weather at least for a few days. When you take a look at the rainfall totals, you're noticing a difference than the last system that we had that moved through because the low is actually more so across the Pacific than make its way close towards us. This means higher rainfall totals for us, especially when you're talking about a 12 hour period. That's why I said keep your phones nice and handy. Be on alert because during that 12 hour period, could be dealing with some flood concerns, and so you'll start to get those alerts coming through on your phone. About an uh, inch and a half for downtown, that's what's anticipated, seeing it with the latest forecast model. Also, more than two inches across North County, even seeing some rain potentially for the desert, but it's going to be fairly light compared to the rest of the county. All right, so 
best window of opportunity is when to reinforce this yet again. You're talking about noon or excuse me, midnight all the way to noon on Wednesday. We do get a break from the wet weather and that's going to be about Thursday and Friday, but we are looking at chances yet again for rain by the weekend. So the second half of the weekend, it's not expected to be as significant excuse me, as a storm system that's going to be moving through as we go into the weekend. So when you're looking at the atmospheric river, you're noticing those higher rainfall totals over the next couple of days. Then we drop down from that and we start to dry out. That's going to be about Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And then we have yet another storm system that looks to move in on Sunday. So that increases our rain chances and then they come down a little bit more by Monday. That one on Sunday doesn't look to be as pronounced and potentially not even being an atmospheric river, just an area of low pressure that moves through your overnight lows mainly looking at those 50s pretty consistent because of the cloud cover that's going to move in 46 degrees expected for Ramona speaking of Ramona high tomorrow 65 degrees widespread 60s uh, west of the mountains also seeing those 50s across the mountains and then for the desert a little bit more sunshine because most of that moisture is going to get caught up in the mountains and towards the coast and so therefore a temperature of 74 degrees is expected 65 for Chula Vista 64 for downtown and for Miramar right along the coast we're going to have the surf about three to five feet. Also keep in mind that we will have some gusty coastal winds. So that's going to bring those gusts into the 30s as well as the 20s and 30s. High risk of rip currents at our local beaches. That's going to carry through all the way until Wednesday. I also want to say this every single time we get a storm system, Enter with caution because you are advised by officials to stay out of the water 72 hours after a rainstorm because all that runoff, that storm runoff goes straight into our ocean. So that increases the bacteria levels. We don't want you to get sick. So just keep that in mind. General rule is 72 hours because that increase in pollution. When you take a look at your eight day microclimate forecast, we dry out by Thursday. We keep that around all the way until Saturday. You're looking at a chance yet again on Sunday. Then we hit the pause button again on Monday and potentially seeing another area of low pressure moving in on Tuesday. This does not look to be a big snowmaker for the mountains. The snow level is going to be rather high because it is subtropical moisture with this atmospheric river. So you're talking about the snow level around uh, 9,000 feet. That's going to be on Tuesday afternoon, lowering to about 7,000 feet. That is going to be on Wednesday afternoon. So rain looks to be more of a factor for us here locally across our mountains. Two to four inches of rain expected could potentially see that and it does look pretty favorable as we hit the forecast the next couple of days. Get that break. You are looking at a chance for rain in the desert. That's going to be on Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in.